The earth is flat! And it's hollow! And full of frosting! The firmament ain't mint, it's spicy! Wow, that's a new one. Are you guys with this lunatic? Look, we're just supporting our friend, doing what he loves. Yeah, plus if he doesn't tire himself out, he's spamming the group chat all night, so... Conspiracy theorists like him are destroying the country! He's actually the least harmful kind of conspiracy theorist. Conspiracy theories are sometimes true and they're sometimes false. When people are peddling completely insane nonsense, it's a lot easier to write them off. What's far more frightening are the falsehoods spread by major institutions, and the idea that disagreeing with those major institutions puts a person in the same category as our friend here. The Irish are beaming us with their druid space taters! Conspiracy theories are sometimes true! What are you, nuts? No, plenty of things that were considered conspiracy theories have turned out to be true. For example, during the 2020 election, we were repeatedly told the Hunter Biden laptop story was fake. 51 intelligence officials signed on to a letter suggesting it was Russian disinformation. But it was later admitted that the laptop was real and that those agents misled us. According to polling data, this may have played a hand in altering the results of the election. Oh, more Republican talking points. This isn't a partisan point of view. Plenty of conspiracy theories that have turned out to be true have had nothing to do with any specific political agenda. Japanese Unit 731 performed horrific experiments on living human beings, almost all of whom were vivisected, and many of its high-ranking officers were granted full immunity by the US government in exchange for data they gained on biological and chemical weapons. What? That's horrible! But how is that a conspiracy? Our government covered up horrific crimes against humanity for their own benefit. The communist Russians first blew the whistle, but of course, they also gave lighter sentences to members of 731 to get information. With communists, every accusation is an admission. And let's not forget, the communists on the moon mined all the cheese! Do you actually believe that one? Yeah, I was just trying it out for size. Okay, so that one's not true. Nah, but this one is. Back in 1990, a 15-year-old girl named Nayira testified in front of Congress, saying she saw Iraqi soldiers remove babies from incubators just to watch them die. This aired on 700 TV stations, and Bush Sr. repeated it 10 times. But it was a complete and total fabrication. Nayira was the daughter of a Kuwaiti ambassador to the U.S., who had been working with the Kuwaiti government to promote U.S. involvement in the Gulf War. Fine, so some conspiracies turn out to be true. But that doesn't mean lunatics like him should get to repeat the crazy ones! The problem is, all conspiracy theories are made to sound crazy before it's proven they're true. Heck, sometimes they're even called crazy after it's proven they're true. Maybe instead of seeing the term conspiracy theory as an indication of falsehood, we should evaluate claims on the basis of the evidence that exists for them and trust that the truth will prevail. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that subscribe button, leave us a like, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Share this around with your friends.